Do you like to have a nice juicy drink in the summers? You must also have a favorite fruit juice. Well, we may have bad news for some of you juice lovers. Studies show that drinking too much fruit juice may increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So does this mean that we just stop having fruits? Absolutely not. After all, eating whole fruits is actually quite healthy. Well, at least healthier than having the juice that they contain. But why are researchers targeting fruit juice? Experts say that fruit juice contains a large amount of sugar which can raise the blood sugar levels rather quickly. And this spike in the sugar levels can easily harm the people, especially those who already have a certain type of diabetes. So let's just first see how many types of diabetes exist. First comes type 1 diabetes, which is an autoimmune disease. This is when the immune system starts attacking the healthy cells in the pancreas, the place where the body creates insulin. Next is type 1.5 diabetes, also known as the latent autoimmune diabetes. This is similar to type 1, but only occurs during adulthood. Now comes type 2 diabetes, which is the most common type of diabetes. Type 2 causes the body to become resistant to insulin and this results in the sugar building up in the bloodstream. Studies show that having whole fruits is much better than having the juice. What does the juice contain that we don't know about? Well, let's talk about the calories. A regular glass of orange juice contains nearly 100 calories as compared to the 60 calories in, an, in a whole orange. Next is fructose, which is a form of sugar. Half a pint of fruit juice contains more sugar than what the WHO recommends, which is ideally 30 grams for men and 24 grams for women. You see fruit juice also lacks fiber. A whole fruit always contains more fiber as compared to the juice and highly processed juices which might not even have any fiber. So should a person just stop consuming fruit juice? Of course we wouldn't advise that. Why take away the juicy joy from anyone's life? All that the researchers recommend is to tone down your consumption. Maybe only have a few glasses of juice a week. Because fruit juice is not all bad for the body, it is a good source of vitamin C. Drinking juice can remove certain toxins from the body as well. It helps with the body's digestion process, it helps to lose weight. But one thing to remember is to moderate the number of glasses that you are drinking. Now while you regulate your fruit juice intake, there are more ways to stay safe from diabetes. You could stop having foods with added sugars. Sugars like corn syrup help boost the shelf life of the baked goods and beverages, but they also end up increasing the risk of heart disease and diabetes. Avoid foods with trans fatty acids. Trans fats are commonly used to improve the flavor of the processed foods, but have been linked to increased inflammation and insulin resistance. Trans fats can be so harmful that they have been outlawed in multiple countries. And this one might be hard for some people. Reduce your alcohol consumption, especially if you have diabetes. Increased alcohol consumption can limit your liver's ability to release glucose and this might cause fluctuations in the blood sugar levels and interfere with certain diabetes medications. So are you up for the challenge to have lesser glasses of fruit juice? But make sure you don't squeeze the pulp out of your life. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.